Hi, this is size 8, straight chunk, heavy gauge hook, and thread I'm using is hot orange, 8 o. Before I start, wax your thread. Just start below the eye, touch and turn. Take away the waste piece. And let's go back up. And towards the band again. And then come back. Stop just in between bob and hook point. Some wax on your thread. Um, for the tail, I'm using is uh, Sunburst Marabu. And take just a few strand and then twist them. Take away this axis and just take this fluff off. Twist it, touch it gently, touch and turn all the way and the body length is just about hook size. Just break this off with your hand. Just a little bit too long so kind of trim them off with your fingers, nails. When you're happy with the length, that's fine. So that's your tail. Um, now I'm gonna just level up this body. Open your thread. And just go back. That's fine. And this is the olive struggle for it with UV in it. You can use chenille. So just cut it here go towards the tail, secure this properly, come back towards the eye, take away this axis, and then kind of stroke each fiber and then wrap them touching turn keep going that's fine Cut them and secure them. Few turn. Take these materials and then stroke everything back. Add some wax on your thread and then secure this. Okay, um, you can put beers like this is a guinea fowl dyed blue and uh, before or after it's entirely up to you and um, I think it's a lot easier if I put the beard before the top post so the way I do this is just a kind of different way I'm just gonna pinch a few fiber and level them up 
and just kind of stroke them upward, you know. You can see the tips are level. Take them off. And then just put them underneath. The best way is to do is just kind of turn your vise around. And make sure, you, I mean, it's good if you just pass the hook point. Kind of work as a guard as well, you know. Couple of turn, and then you can spread them around. Normally, sometimes you put them just on one side, but I like them all around. And then, basically, make sure you secure them properly. That's fine. Now gently take these extra pieces off. If you just use your nail to turn them up at a 90 degree and take them one by one. This is one of my favorite lower actually works all year round. I mean especially beginning of the season this is brilliant. Okay, now for the top I need uh, olive marabou. So just take a bunch off. Not too much because uh, it's a little bit less. Maybe just by kind of moves nice in the water. So same again. Take the fluff off and then twist these feather, arch them gently on top, make sure they're sitting in the right place. And that's fine. Now, kind of secure these and then chop these off. Make sure you don't cut your thread. That's fine. and just form the head and then now you can check if it's sitting nicely so and then cut them off the length is a little bit longer than tail or you can have the same length actually it's entirely up to you and I'm going to add some <coughs> crystal flush, which is a, a rainbow color. Just uh, take the one strand and just fold it up. Just put it on one side and catch it. And then bring it around and secure this. That's fine. And that's it, just to form the head. Need a nice and decent head on this if you're not using the bead. And that's fine. And just so we finish. That's fine. And this is cut this crystal just about the length of your top marabou. And I'm 
just get some fluff off the front and then all you have to do is just get some varnish and then make sure you put thin varnish on the head few coat like a couple of three so to there four we have coat Dawson Olive Trout Lure I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching